So I'd like to talk to you today about this antenna that I built for working satellites, FM satellites, on handheld um, and devices. So the antenna is a combination 2 meter Moxon antenna with a 70 centimeter uh, 5 element Yagi parasitic element to it. What's nice about the parasitic element is that it doesn't necessarily need a coaxial connection connected to the feed line separate and duplexed in with the two meter elements. A lot of the dual band Yagi style antennas require two separate connections and then you to use a duplexer uh, to direct the, the RF and filter RF uh, so that you don't uh, so you don't end up getting signal down the wrong path or pu pushing signal down the wrong path. So um, what's nice about this is it's all one and uh, makes makes things a lot simpler uh, as far as the design goes. Uh, and I want to talk today a little bit about how I validated its characteristics. Uh, I think it's doing what I did gives you a good idea of the characteristics of the antenna without necessarily uh, being, you know, spot on accurate. It gives you at least an idea that you're you're doing things well. Um, so how I built the antenna. Well, I got the idea from a, another site. Someone had built a Moxon 2 meter, 70 centimeter for satellite antenna uh, as well. Um, but I didn't use his exact specs. And the reason I didn't use his exact specs is because the materials I had on hand were different. Uh, I believed he used um, eighth inch, um, uh, like almost very thin, uh, either aluminum or steel. Um, I had quarter inch, right? So that the elements are larger. That changes the, the variables in the calculations. Um, so what I did was I took that principle that he used and I ran it through the calculators. I uh, started with the two meter Moxon. There's a, if you Google Moxon calculator, you can find a website that will, you can put the specs. I put in quarter inch aluminum and it'll output, you know, everything you need in terms of measurements to build the Moxon. Uh, so from there, uh, I then also Googled Yagi calculator for uh, 70 centimeters. Um, put it in the, the frequency I wanted it, you know, resonant on was like 437. That's where a lot of the satellite fre resonances, uh, frequencies are 437 megahertz on 70 centimeters. So I put in that frequency, put in the quarter inch aluminum rods and it gave me, um, five elements, the specs I would need for five elements. And, uh, I was able to, um, get those stats. Now the critical part of making it parasitic is you want the driven element to be very close. I think 20 centimeters, which is like three quarters of an inch away, uh, uh close to each other. So, um, uh, this, you know, allows the two to sort of, uh, well, allows the 70 centimeter elements to, uh, parasitically sort of pair with the two meter elements and it drops your SWR on that frequency quite a bit. Uh, so I got the measurements. Um, if anyone's interested in them, I will, um, I will post them, uh, post them in this video. Um, <clears throat> but then I, um, uh, I, you know, bent the aluminum to build the mocks in the corners, uh, of each of uh, the driven elements in the reflector. And then I also cut to length the, um, the, uh, the 70 centimeter Yagi portion. Uh, it just took some spare wood I had lying around, made a boom out of the spare wood. What I used to hold the elements together is um, uh, basically quarter inch cable clamps that you get at the electronics section of, or the wiring section of Home Depot. Um, I'm not that happy with them, honestly. If I had a, if I had a, to do it all over again, I probably would do something like 
tubing rather than rods, and I probably would use some kind of a tapped uh, tap and screw that you could screw the elements in, you know, those kinds of things. But um, that's not what I had on hand, and that's not what I went and bought. So I um, I uh, went that route. Um, performance has been good so far. I've made two satellite contacts, my first two ever. And then I also want to talk a little bit about how I validated it. It's got some directivity. So what I'm about to explain isn't, isn't accurate by any means, and it's not scientific by any means, but what it does give you is relative performance, and I'm going to show in this video um, what I mean by that. So um, what I did is I hooked a um, RTLSDR dongle to my system. I set it to non-automatic gain. I turned the gain down to zero, and I also did not hook an antenna to it, so it's just sitting, no antenna. Uh, in my enclosed office, which ideally isn't the best place because I'm sure some of the signal bounces around inside the room, you know, probably if you wanted to be more accurate with it, do it outside, but um, <clears throat> what I did was um, it seemed to me like the polarization of the RTL seem to be more horizontal with it when it's just no antenna attached. So by by um, moving my Yagi uh, hybrid antenna vertical polarized, it, it sort of attenuates it even further, the signal even further. And so what I did is I, and I'll show you video here, but um, what I did was um, point the Yagi at the receiver receiver and watch the signal and then slowly move in a circle, you know, going away. And I was actually watching the signal drop as I moved completely 180 degrees in the opposite direction. Um, and it dropped significantly, like, you know, from, and you'll see in the shot here, from full green or 50 plus dB of signal strength. Um, you know, down to 20 or 30 or, you know, like, like the little green bar shows in the top there, very little signal, even though I'm transmitting. So that showed me I was getting excellent front to back ratio. And, um, you know, obviously you can't take much from it in terms of how strong it is, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's not very strong. Um, but it does get, show you your front, to, at least at a minimum, your front to back's working. And the other thing is since the, since the, uh, 70 centimeter piece is a five element. It's a, it has a little bit of a narrower beam width. And the other thing I was able to observe doing this method was that, you know, the, the moxon on the two meter has almost a 180 degree arc, um, excellent front to back ratio, but almost 180 degree arc in terms of it's, it, you know, how it sends the signal out. Um, whereas the yellow, the Yagi has, has less front to back, but has a more narrow beam. And I was able to observe that through this because it, it, I had to get much, I had to aim the antenna much closer to the SDR on 70 centimeters than I did, uh, two meter. Um, so that told me that, um, you know, the parasitic elements working the way it should and uh, 70 centimeters is um, working the way it should. And the two meter portion is also, Moxon is working within the characteristics that I expected it to. Anyway, I'm attaching pictures of the final product. It's not pretty by any means. Um, I'm not all happy with the clips. They work okay. Um, um, Again, I would probably do it differently if I had to do it again. Uh, but um, for a very first satellite antenna build, uh, and I've been successful with it, as I said, two contacts so far. I know that's not a crazy amount, but considering I've never done it before uh, and it's working okay, uh, one gentleman did send me a uh, QSO video um, of our QSO, and uh, I could hear myself on the other side, and I was. I was full quieting into the satellite um, at the time. And so I'm in central Florida and he was in Atlanta. 
Um, so it does work and it does seem to work fairly well. Um, I haven't, the little handheld I was using is not full duplex, which is what you really want when you work these satellites. Uh, so you can hear yourself and the kind of signal that's coming back. Um, um, I have a full duplex, but it's a mobile and it's difficult for me to bring that out and work with it at the moment. I am working on making that happen. Uh, but I don't have it yet. So, um, but just a $25 Baofeng and less than or right around $25 in hardware at the hardware store, uh, is all you need. And, um, you can, uh, chase down these satellites, which is, which is quite interesting and quite fun. The thing I've learned is my neighborhood's not the best because I have a lot of trees and, and houses in the way. So it would be better to go out into an open field or maybe on the beach or something somewhere along those lines would uh, would help tremendously. So anyway, that is all. Chris, KO4AWN, signing off in 73. Echo Lima 94, gotcha. Thanks for the uh, contact. KI4 ASK EM73 Atlanta. Oscar 4, Alpha Whiskey November, Echo Lima 97. Yeah, Echo Lima 97, gotcha. KI4 ASK EM73 Atlanta. This is Kilo India 4, Alpha Sierra Kilo, Echo Mike 73, Joe in Atlanta. Good morning on SO50. Anybody else out there?